What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, the one, the only, the round one, the fluffy gamer. It's the middle of the week. You know what time it is. It's time for another midweek quick fix. Oh, yeah. But the only problem is, what the fuck am I doing in the Camry? This is a quick fix. Yeah. I ain't taking no Camry today. This is the motherfucking quick fix. We're taking the Mustang. Back in the fast lane. No, 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 no. Once this puppy hits 88 miles an hour, you're gonna see some serious game hunting. Oh yeah! That's the power of love. That's the power of love. All right guys, right now we are in Del Cerro, San Diego, just around the corner from where I live. We're at Robert's Goodwill Bookstore. Never been. Just kidding, I've been here. But the last couple times I haven't found much, hopefully. They got some new stuff in there. Let's go see what we can find. Two-disc anniversary it's edition. Seven ninety-nine. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty nice. All right, guys. So I just got out of that Goodwill bookstore over there. I managed to find one game inside there and also uh, one DVD uh, while I was over there looking at the DVD section. Uh, the game, I don't have it, but for ninety-nine cents, it was a crappy movie. And most movies that are made into games are also crappy, so I'm pretty sure this is probably really bad too. But that is Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Uh, but I did find a rare out of print movie while I was in there. Didn't catch it on film because I, I did a one over after I stopped recording in there. Uh, that is Vision Quest, old early or mid 80s movie, I believe. Yeah, 1985. Uh, Vision Quest. I remember seeing this one back in the day, but I don't really remember much about it except for the fact that it's now worth about 14 bucks. So I picked it up for three dollars. Not a bad find right there. But as I was getting ready to walk out, they brought out a new bin of stuff, and I saw this bad boy for $7.99. Bam! Al Pacino's Scarface. It is the two disc anniversary edition gift box it is brand new sealed comes with all these extra deleted scenes a uh, complete set of rare collectible lobby cards uh, eight and all eight in total uh, collectible money clip and the it, it has the original 1932 version so not a bad score over here at the uh, local Goodwill bookstore on to the next spot all right guys I'm at my next destination I'm at another local Goodwill over here in Lake Murray yeah you guys know where this place is this is where I found Mega Man Legends 2 for the PS1 for three dollars let's go inside and see if they got trombone
Well, no trombone in there, so I did pick up one game and I picked up another movie. Of course, you know it's going to be rare out of print if I'm picking up movies, unless I actually don't have it and I want it. So I'll show you what I got when I get in the car. All right, guys, so I just got out of the Goodwill and I picked up two items inside there. The first item that I picked up for $3. Was FIFA 08 for the PlayStation 2? Oops. It is complete in the box. And surprisingly enough, goes for about 10 bucks. And of course, the last thing that I got was a rare out of print movie. Not worth much. It's been selling for about 10 bucks. Starring Sylvester Stallone in Oscar. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. But it's got, uh, what's his name? I believe that's Tim Curry right there. Pretty sure the guy who played the clown in uh, It. I, Georgie, am Pennywise, the dancing clown. So now we know each other. Well, that's all I got over here. I spent six bucks inside this store. Um, I'm going to go hit up the Goodwill over in La Mesa. See you guys over there. All right, guys, I made it over here to La Mesa. I'm at a local Goodwill over here. I've had some good luck over here, so hopefully they got some new stuff in here, some games. Last time I was here, I picked up that house party. Uh, four set DVD had all four house party movies. Apparently there is a house party five from what I've been hearing But I hear it really really sucks. So I'm not really gonna keep my eye out for that one So let's head on inside and see what we can find All right, guys, just got out of the Goodwill and I did not get anything inside there. There was a couple PS1 games inside there, but I already had them, so no need to pick them up. They weren't worth much, so. Ah, what do you say? We go pick up Leo, the video game guy. Maybe that'll bring me some luck. Actually, find some decent games. Let's go pick them up. Hello, is Leo home? Free video games, free video games, free video what? games, free video games, free video games. Anyone else? Anyone else to give a free no, video game to? I'll take it. Oh, just you? Cool. Oh, it's the same game. Yeah. Let's go find some games. We'll see you guys over at Red Brontosaurus. Uh, uh. Alright guys, we made it over to Red Brontosaurus. Let's go inside and see what's new in there. Welcome to Red Brontosaurus. What's going on, man? How you been, Fluffy? Not too bad. Long time to see Yeah. This is worth fifty dollars, dude. Fifteen ninety nine. I don't even know if you can see that. Fifty bucks on eBay. What? I think that's a reanimator up in here. Oh, is that sealed? Yeah, that is. Oh shit! I already have it on Blu-ray. I love the movie. Have you seen this one? Pretty good. Alright guys, we just got out of the red brontosaurus. You gotta tell me when we're filming, bro. I gotta put on my game face. Alright guys, we just left the red brontosaurus and we hoarded up like fucking hoarders do. What'd you get over there, Leo? For $45, I purchased Earthworm Gym 2 complete for the Super Nintendo. It comes complete with the manual and the box. And you could have got that loose for $20. I could, but I can't buy it complete for $20. <laughs> and then I also got, and dude, you know me, man. I don't fucking buy these things loose. I buy this shit complete. Don't you owe me 20 bucks for that Super Nintendo game I gave you the other, the other week? Oh, fuck. I was hoping you forget about that. I want the best of the best. So that's why I buy the best of the uh, best. Sure, the best. I could buy Pokemon Stadium loose for 20 bucks, or I could buy it complete for 50. 
Ooh. And when the only four that are on sale for right now on eBay are for fucking $75, I'm going to pull the goddamn trigger at 50 bucks, you know what I'm saying? Does it have the transfer pack in there? Oh, it's got the transfer pack, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck does the transfer pack do? Um, you're actually able to plug in your uh, Pokemon Game Boy game into the transfer pack and transfer your hard-earned Pokemon into the Pokemon Stadium game and battle what? your friends. What? Battle your friends in the Pokemon Stadium world. So you can catch them all. So you've got a level 37 Charizard and i got a level 42 Blastoise and we want to battle in the Pokemon Stadium. I'll fuck Pokemon you up. Stadium. Let's do that shit. I'll fuck you up. And then, this thing is worth about $35 easy Ooh. on Blu-ray. I paid fifteen ninety nine. Disney tax. Pinocchio. Disney tax. I actually have this already, but I know someone who desperately wants this. And he'll give me $40 with a snap of a finger. I'll give you 20 Deal. But anyways, I didn't pick up any games in there, but I did hoard up on a bunch of trauma DVDs. Oh, yeah. Are, is there any trauma fans out there? Mr. Lloyd Kaufman? I had to pick it up. The Toxic Avenger for five dollars and then I also saw the Toxic Avengers part two for five dollars and since I got the first two might as well get part three for five dollars and last but not least part four they made four of these holy shit five dollars each not too shabby haven't seen those movies, so I'm definitely looking forward to watching them. They look real cheesy, but you know I love cheesy. Cheesecake? I love cheesecake. And the last DVD I got in there for 10 bucks. Another trauma movie. Never heard of it before, but it's starring Mr. Big Dick, Ron Jeremy. It's called Tales from the Crapper. Oh, yeah. And not only is it complete and in good condition, it's got a poster in here. Check this out. I got a poster of the star, Julie Strains. Ooh, is she hot? Oh, man. And she signed this poster. It says, I love my trauma fans. Julie oh. Strain. Bam. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. I feel like we're going to get shot or something. We're not in Oklahoma. Yeah, look, there's, like a, there's some tag right there. And there's like a there's like a, a old pinto over there and stuff. And there's, there's, right. more, there's some more tag. Let's get out of here. All right. I'm scared. We might go hit up <laughs> one more place. I'm not scared, Should we? bro. I ain't fucking scared. Should we go to Book Off? I can promise you that. Let's Fuck. go to Book Off. Fuck my fuck up. I'll get some OGP on the rest. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're over here at the Book Off store. Oh, wait. We didn't go to the Book Off store. We changed our mind. We ended up coming over to this place. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can catch them slipping some more. You see the new Star Fox that's coming out? <sighs> yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's new Contra Force coming out. Oh, really? Oh, it has the manual. All right, guys, so we just left the Luna's Video Game Store. I just dropped Leo off for the night. Make sure you guys go check out his channel to see everything that he got today. I'm sure he'll post a video in a couple days. But for now, let me show you what I picked up from Luna's Video Games. For 15 bucks, I picked up Star Fox Adventures. Never had it, never played it. But I figured, what the hell, 15 bucks, it looked like a good, clean copy. That's about what it goes for. It is complete. Nice, clean manual. Disc is in pretty good condition. But I did actually catch him slipping again for $7.99. I got an N64 game called Disney's Donald Duck Going Quackers. Bam. This is easily a $22 game. Got you slipping again. And as you guys saw, that Mega Man X collection game that they had in there for sale, they caught on to the price. They're now asking 69 bucks for it. Got my copy for 20, as you guys saw a couple weeks ago. So real quick right now, let's take a look at everything I got for the day. Uh-huh, got a lot of movies, a lot of trauma movies. Got the Al Pacino Scarface, and of course, you know, the couple games that I picked up. So that's gonna do it for this midweek quick fix. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, guys. I'll see you guys later.
What's that Ford thing doing on my face? Take that take. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. Party oh. Party hey! Oh! What was it? Sorry about that, Rob. It was an 1899. -er. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Siri, what's the Padres score? The Padres are losing to the Dodgers, 15 to zero, in the bottom of the ninth inning. <laughs> That's my Padres. 